going to be going over on how to properly flash a pipe jack and how to use ice and water to offer additional protection. I'm going to show you a couple ways of how we do it and one good way to use ice and water to go ahead and get that seal. And then we're going to go ahead and you know either A, do an X cut and push it down over the pipe or B, we're going to tap the with a hammer lightly around uh, over the uh, ice and water over the pipe to score it and so it cuts it perfectly. Now you do have to be careful uh, so you don't break the pipe, you don't want to hit it too hard, you're just going to tap around there lightly until it starts to cut. Another thing is you want to be careful that piece that's in the center that you actually remove that. You don't want that falling inside the pipe and uh, causing any plumbing issues. So just watch the video and I'm going to show you a couple of those two different ways and how to install a pipe jack. Right here you can see the pipe protruding through the roof sheathing and we have a synthetic underlayment. Now this synthetic underlayment is a lot better than your 15 or 30 pound that some of you may be used to. This uh, synthetic underlayment is highly tear resistant. It's basically a tarp like material with um, a texture on it to give you some slip resistance while you're working on the roof. So you're not going to slide even uh, when it's wet. So this is a good product to use. It's going to offer more protection for your roof, especially high wind areas you're going to want to use something similar to this. Now, when we're doing a pipe jack, uh, you first lay your underlayment and you can see here you just do an X cut and it'll go nicely around that pipe. Now with the ice and water, we usually cut approximately about 18 by 18 inch square. We're going to apply that over the underlayment. Now ice and water comes in a three foot wide rolls. So what we do is we use an 18 inch uh, piece square. In this case, if you take the, if you cut an 18 inch off your three foot roll, you're gonna be left with basically three feet by 18 inches, and if you just cut it in half again, it'll give you an 18 inch square. So just an example here, you know, I did cut this one here and let, um, flipped it over so it wouldn't get stuck. You can see it's, especially in the sun here, is very tacky. It's gonna stick to anything. Uh, I'm gonna leave this uh, release paper on there so it doesn't stick to this, so I could show you another way to do it. Uh, but you can see I did an X cut there. So you're just going to put it over the pipe. It's going to slide it over. Just like, just like that. So you can see with that ice and water there, it's going to offer additional protection. The pipe jack is actually going to sit over that. And just to help seal around the area. And then uh, being cut tighter uh, and tight against there too with the small X. It's not going to let any water to get inside. Now I'm going to show you another way real quick. So... Let's take this one off, and I have another square here, and I'm going to try to do this here with holding the phone. So the other way to do this, let me get this centered roughly. If you take your hammer and you just tap around there. You can see it's leaving an impression. Now it's cutting that ice and water. So it's going to leave a very nice, perfect cut around that pipe. All right. As you can see there, this is the piece that we cut. It's perfectly cut around that pipe jack. You can see how nicely that was cut. So. I mean, if water ever gets, uh, and obviously I left the release paper in there and that's because I'm going to remove this. Um, I just put a section here for trading purposes. But once I remove this release paper here, this ice and water is going to stick to that synthetic underlayment and water is never going to be able to get underneath. It's going to be a nice seal. Uh, and because it's sealed really nice and tight around this pipe, that should never leak either. So it's just another additional protection uh, when you're doing a pipe jack. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and put the pipe jack over there. So this is, once you shingle up to it. With the icing water completed, now when it comes time to put the pipe jack, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna turn it over, and you're gonna actually put plastic cement all the way around this before you nail this down. Now that's gonna create a nice seal and that won't leak. But for now, we're not ready for that st step yet. Uh, but one thing I like to do is paint these before we're completed with the shingles. So we just put it over the pipe jack as so. We get our paint. 
and then let's just go ahead and paint that way we don't have to do this later and get overspray all over the shingles And we'll let that dry. We don't want to put it too thick on there. And then we'll go again. Now you notice I don't have that much on the top. It doesn't need it. I mean, the shingle's gonna be actually cut around here. You're gonna have a water line uh, that's gonna be at least you know a quarter to a half inch away from here. So I just need to paint that section there. Um, over here we'll paint all this, like I said, and you wanna get this here. Then the pipe, you'll do that at the end, but there shouldn't be much overspray from that. But at least doing it this way, you're not gonna have paint all over your shingles. You can see here, this is the finished product uh, with the pipe jack painted. So now uh, it's actually pretty much almost dry. We just got a couple coats on there. So now when, when it's time to go ahead and install this, when you have shingled up to here, you're just gonna pull that off, shingle up to that, tar underneath it, I'm gonna put it back on, and then it's gonna have the tar underneath there. Then you're gonna nail all around there. And then your, your shingles, are gonna be cut nicely around here. Obviously the shingles go underneath, the first few courses go underneath, the first course, and then you're gonna go over the top, and you're just gonna leave a water channel just around us. So there's no obstructions, the water's not getting backed up. And then you're gonna go ahead and seal and tar underneath here too, so that pipe jack will never leak. That's gonna be sealed up really nice. Now that we have the pipe jack, everything's completed. Uh, the, the final product is just gonna be installing the shingles underneath and then over and then seal them in the plastic cement. Uh, other than that, those were two great ways that you could use uh, and that we recommend that's going to properly seal around a pipe jack. You should not have any leaking issues if you install it in this manner.